The construction of the Giza Pyramid Complex, one of the most remarkable feats of engineering in human history, is shrouded in mystery due to several factors, notably the lack of detailed historical records and the incredible precision and scale of the work involved. Here are some key aspects that contribute to the enigma. Building techniques, despite extensive studies, exactly how the ancient Egyptians built these colossal structures around 4,500 years ago remains a topic of debate. The precision with which the pyramids are built, with millions of massive stone blocks, each weighing several tons, fitting together perfectly is mind-boggling. Logistics and organization. The logistics of assembling labor, organizing resources, and maintaining such a massive workforce, which might have included tens of thousands of workers, over the decades-long construction period are not fully understood. While some believe the workforce was made up of slaves, more recent evidence suggests they were skilled laborers who worked in a highly organized manner. Architectural alignment. The alignment of the pyramids with cosmic phenomena adds another layer of mystery. For instance, the Great Pyramid is aligned precisely to the cardinal points of the compass, which suggests a high level of knowledge in fields like geometry and astronomy. How the Egyptians achieved such accuracy without modern tools or technology is still a subject of research and debate. Purpose and symbolism. While the primary purpose of the pyramids as tombs for the pharaohs is widely accepted, the full symbolic and religious significance of their design and alignment is not completely understood. The complexity of the pyramid texts and associated funerary rites suggests a deep, sophisticated belief system about the afterlife, which we have yet to decipher fully. Lost technologies and techniques. There is ongoing speculation about whether the ancient Egyptians used certain construction techniques and tools that were subsequently lost to history. The smooth casing stones, which once covered the pyramids, and the precision cutting of these stones imply the use of technology that was extremely advanced for its time. These elements combine to make the construction of the Giza Pyramid Complex a profound mystery and a lasting testament to the ingenuity of ancient Egyptian civilization. Each new archaeological discovery can potentially offer insights, yet the full understanding of how these ancient architectural wonders were constructed remains elusive. The Giza Pyramid Complex, situated on the outskirts of Cairo, Egypt, stands as one of the world's most iconic and enigmatic architectural achievements. This ancient site includes the Great Pyramid of Giza, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, along with the Pyramid of Khafre, the Pyramid of Menkora, and the Great Sphinx. These structures collectively testify to the remarkable engineering prowess and artistic vision of ancient Egyptian civilization. Constructed during Egypt's fourth dynasty, around 2580 to 2560 BC, the Great Pyramid itself was built as a tomb for Pharaoh Khufu, and has long fascinated historians, archaeologists, and tourists alike with its sheer scale and complex interior chambers. The pyramids at Giza were originally covered in white limestone casing stones, which would have made them brilliantly reflective under the Egyptian sun, serving as powerful symbols of divine kingship and religious belief. The site's layout, precision in construction, and alignment with celestial phenomena, like the solstices and constellations, highlight the Egyptians' advanced understanding of mathematics and astronomy. Moreover, the Sphinx, a monumental limestone statue with the body of a lion and the head of a pharaoh, adds a layer of mystery and allure guarding the plateau with its enigmatic expression. Today, the Giza Pyramid Complex remains a profound symbol of Egypt's rich history and continues to draw the curiosity and awe of millions, making it a pivotal site for both scholarly research and global tourism. Its enduring legacy is not just in its architectural magnificence, but also in its ability to captivate imaginations, embodying millennia of human endeavor and spiritual depth. The construction of the ancient Egyptian pyramids, particularly the Great Pyramid at Giza, is a testament to the extraordinary engineering and organizational skills of the ancient Egyptians. The process presented numerous logistical challenges given the lack of modern technology. Some of these challenges include material sourcing. The primary material used was limestone, and in some cases granite which had to be quarried. The limestone used for the core of the pyramids was typically local, but the finer white limestone used for the casing came from Tura, about 13 kilometers away. Granite used for the inner chambers was quarried in Aswan, nearly 900 kilometers south of Giza. Transporting these massive stones involved navigating the Nile, requiring the construction and maintenance of boats strong enough to carry such weight. Transportation of materials, 
the ancient Egyptians had to devise a method to transport these massive stones from the quarries to the pyramid site. This likely involved sledges and perhaps wooden rollers used over prepared paths. Theories suggest that the workers may have wet the sand to reduce friction and make it easier to drag the sledges. The transportation process was highly dependent on the Nile River for moving materials during the inundation when water levels were high enough to reach closer to the sites. Labor force management. Constructing the pyramids required a large labor force, which some estimates place in the tens of thousands. Managing such a workforce involved ensuring they were well fed, housed and organized. This included skilled artisans, laborers and support staff like cooks, water carriers and those in medical services. The logistics of supplying daily necessities for such a large group were non-trivial, involving significant planning and resources, precision in construction. The pyramids are noted for their precise alignment and measurements. Achieving such accuracy without modern instruments was a formidable task. The Egyptians used plum bobs, sighting instruments and cubit rods, a measure of length. Aligning the pyramids precisely to the cardinal points, as seen in the Great Pyramid of Giza, required detailed astronomical knowledge and sophisticated measuring techniques, architectural design, planning and executing the pyramid's complex internal structure, including chambers, shafts and passageways, demanded advanced architectural and engineering skills. These structures had to be planned and built in a way that they would remain stable and functional for thousands of years. The successful completion of these pyramids, with their immense scale and precise engineering, using only the technology and tools available at the time, is a remarkable feat of human ingenuity and perseverance. The logistics of such an endeavor involved comprehensive planning, sophisticated engineering, and the effective management of resources and people. The construction of the ancient Egyptian pyramids is a fascinating subject that combines architectural ingenuity with complex social organization. These monumental structures, especially the ones at Giza, have captivated scholars and historians for centuries. Let's explore some of the primary theories and techniques believed to have been used in their construction. Architectural techniques. Straight ramps. One theory suggests the use of long straight ramps that led directly to the pyramid's construction site. These ramps, made of mud brick and limestone chippings, would have needed to be constantly lengthened as the pyramid rose. Zigzagging ramps. Another theory proposes the use of ramps that zigzagged up one face of the pyramid. This would have reduced the ramp's slope, making it easier to haul the heavy stone blocks. Spiral ramps. A more recent theory suggests the use of internal spiral ramps, supported by the internal structure of the pyramid itself, allowing blocks to be transported closer to their final position without the ramp being visible externally. Levering techniques. Levers may have been used to lift the blocks slightly, enabling workers to position wooden rollers underneath, which facilitated the movement of these blocks over longer distances. Water-assisted transportation. Some theories also propose that water was used to facilitate the transportation of blocks, either by floating them on the Nile close to the site, or by lubricating the ramps to make dragging the stones easier. Structured labor force. The workforce was highly organized and likely consisted of skilled laborers working alongside seasonal workers who contributed labor during the agricultural off-season. Workers were organized into teams and crews, each responsible for different aspects of the construction, from quarrying and transporting stones to precision placement and finishing, provisioning and support. Extensive logistical support was necessary to sustain such a large workforce, including food, water, shelter and medical care. Archaeological evidence from workers' villages, such as the one discovered near the pyramids of Giza, shows that workers were well fed and medically cared for, suggesting a sense of responsibility towards the laborers by the state or ruling class. Administrative oversight. The construction project was overseen by high-ranking officials who reported directly to the pharaoh. These officials were responsible for the overall management of the project, including resource allocation and labor management. Detailed records and plans were likely maintained, although few written documents have survived to provide direct evidence of these administrative practices. Engineering and planning. The layout and orientation of the pyramids, especially the Great Pyramid, which is aligned with impressive accuracy to the cardinal points, indicate advanced knowledge of engineering and astronomy. The planning would have included detailed calculations to ensure the stability of the structure and the appropriate grade of the ramps used to build up to such great heights. In summary, 
The construction of the pyramids was an endeavor that involved not only advanced architectural and engineering techniques, but also a highly organized and well cared for workforce. This combination allowed the ancient Egyptians to create some of the most enduring symbols of human achievement. The Great Pyramid was the tallest man-made structure in the world for over 3,800 years and remains a testament to ancient Egypt's technological prowess and the organizational capabilities of its society. The initial placement of the stone would have been a ceremonial and highly significant event, likely attended by high officials, priests, and perhaps even the Pharaoh himself. This stone, laid with precision, set the foundation for what would become a mathematical marvel, aligning with celestial patterns and standing as a testament to the Egyptians' understanding of their world. This moment not only underscores the ambitious scale of the project, but also the dedication, resources, and unified effort of a civilization that aimed to immortalize its leaders and gods. The pyramid's completion, after approximately 20 years, remains one of humanity's most profound legacies, a symbol of what collective human endeavor and belief can achieve.